Christ, according to the Bible, the black man. He came from the tribe of Jude. What tribe you come from before this time? We brought out earlier, West Indians, right? You said you're from Jamaica, your father's from Jamaica. According to this, you're from the tribe of Benjamin. You be an Israelite. There's no right. such thing as Jamaican in the Bible, is there? You read the Bible? A little bit, a little bit. How old are you? About to be 18. About to be 18. Go ahead, 14 2. Listen to this. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. So I asked the question. I said, is Jesus Christ the only black Jew? Or are all the Jews from the tri uh, tribe of Judah? Were they all black? What's what the Bible says? Judah mourning. God says the tribe of Judah is mourning. That's Jews in the Bible. Come on. And the gates thereof language. Come on. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What did the Bible just say about the Jews? They black. Read. Unto the ground. The Jews are black unto the ground. According to the Bible, we're different shades of brown. We are the biblical people of the book. Right. But you ain't know that, did you? I can tell, because the way you carry yourself, you carry yourself like a different nation. Like you said Irish before, right? Give me numbers 118. Is your mother, what's your mother? So your mother's full-blooded Irish. She's a white one. Partly. What's her father? Okay, watch this. There's no such thing in the Bible as me. That's confusion. Read that. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. So read that the King James Bible. We're going to show you and the rest of the people. There's no such thing as me. Come on. And they assembled all the congregation together. Come on. This on is the, the Israelites. The Israelites brought all their people together. Read. On the first day of the second month. The first day of the second month. Come on. And they declared their pedigrees. So what's your pedigree? If you had a dog, you say, oh, I know it's pedigree. What's that talking about? A pit bull. It's tight or it's bloodline, right? Right. So the Israelites declare their pedigrees, read. After their family. By their family? By the house of their father. So you declare your bloodline by who? The house of their father. You declare your bloodline by your father. So you are whatever your father is. Right. right. Your father has the seed. Right. Firm. Right. See me, you know what I'm talking about? So. Whatever your father has, no matter what your mother was, you're his nation. Just like he's his father's nation. So you're from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. Your mother, if her father's black, she's from the tribe of Judah. She's a black woman. There's no confusion. You may look a little different, a little lighter skin, but that don't change your people. That's who your people is. Now, knowing that you're an Israelite, are you supposed to dress the way you dress? You don't know, right? That's what's on TV, right? You're 17 years old. That's how 17 year old girls dress. It's hot outside. It's hot outside. It's hot outside too. Yeah, I, I understand that. You could be naked out here, but that's that'd be even better, right? You don't know. You you don't know. I'm telling you, you gotta get your mind right. Think about what I'm asking. Because the way sisters dress today is the way prostitutes used to dress in the 90s. Right? That's right. You understand that? You, you don't care. I'm gonna show you something in the scripture. I know you do care. What you got? Give me that two nine. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. This is what the Bible says. In like manner also, come on, that women, that women adorn themselves, come on, in modest apparel. What does modest mean? No ankles. No, it don't mean no ankles. No ankles. No ankles. No boobs. No what? No belly. It's, modesty means you're not dressing in a way to entice a man to lust after you. Right. To make a man feel sexually towards you. The way you dress and you underage, according to North Carolina, right? You got grown men. Ain't some grown men checked you out today? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Not that I've noticed. Not that you noticed. Know okay. Go to uh, Not that you noticed. Know your mother. You know your mom? Your mom dressed like that? Huh? She used to. She used to. So she taught you that. She taught me wear whatever you want to wear. Okay. It's not your fault if a man lusts after you. Okay. That's she said, not. She said, wear what you want to wear. It's not your fault if a man lusts after you. Your mom's alive. Straight up. She's lying to you. I'm going to prove it in the Bible. Read it. It's, it's completely your fault. It's their fault too. But you both going to die for it according to the Bible. Read that. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22. First five. I'm gonna deal with some of the clothes you're wearing with, okay? And it's not that I'm not trying to hate on you or nothing like that, bash you. Look, you don't care anyway. But you're trying to help you. We're showing you love. Read that. The woman That's shall you. not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The Bible says 
that a woman shouldn't wear the clothes that belong to a man. Just come here. Both of y'all got that on right now. Now she's not dressed just like you. What do y'all got on that's in common? A long shirt. Long shirt. You and that brother right there. And me. We all got on the same thing. You ain't got no long shirt on. What you got on that she got on that he got on that I got on? Pants. Were pants given to men? Or were they given to women? Because I got a zipper, right? When I go to the bathroom, I use my zipper to relieve myself. Right? I stand up at a urinal, relieve myself. When you go to the bathroom, do you stand up at a urinal? What is your zipper for? That's a button. What's the zipper for? To unbutton? No, the button's to unbutton. What's the zipper for? So I can zip up my pants so I can touch my arms. Do you zip up a button? No, it's for a man's ride to come out so he can use the bathroom. Right. right. Because pants were given to men originally. Right. Your mother learned that from the feminist movement. How old your mother? About 40? Yeah. Women weren't wearing dress, I mean, weren't wearing pants in slavery. Right. Where are they? Where are they? Is it right here? Yeah, look right here. It's hot. Remember you said it's hot? In slavery, it was real hot. You were actually doing stuff. You see them out in the cotton fields? What she got on? A dress. A dress. She's dressed modestly. Oh, you best believe it was hot and you ain't getting no cup of water. And you can't vape when you're asleep. So, you don't have an excuse for that. Keep reading though. Watch this. You either, sis. Come on. You laugh. You should know better. Keep reading. Neither shall a man. Neither shall a man. Put on a woman's garment. Like this brother right here. This handsome man. What do you look like if he was wearing a dress? Yeah. Is that, is that bugged out? Is that normal? I mean, if he wants to wear that's a dress, That's bugged out, that's not dress. normal. It says in the Bible, let it be Adam and Eve, not even even Adam and Adam. Yeah, what do you say? Yeah. It's not normal. What that's you say? a sin. Is it about transvestites or cross-dress? It's about cross-dress. Because it ain't men. Not transvest transvestites is the evolution of that sin. Yeah. It starts with you wearing that. Then you put on a manly spirit behind it. Right now, sis, even though you, you know a 17-year-old girl, you got the spirit of a man on you. You don't have a shame face and humble spirit. You all know to be kind of like a guy. Like, man, what you talking about? I don't really care. You know you walked up to a bunch of grown men, I don't care what y'all talking about. That's a bold, manly spirit you got on you. I don't, you still say, you can't help saying it, because the spirit's on you in the pants. Right. That spirit evolves into homosexuality. I don't wear that spirit evolves, huh? because it's easier for you to have someone come up, lift your skirt up. It's easier for somebody to come up. Okay, it's not to wear skirts, wear a modest dress. You said something about ankles earlier. Wear a dress down about here, below your knee. No one's going to lift up your If they do it anyway, they're trying to rape you. Okay, so still, that's not why not to wear it. They can see every inch of your body right now. Right. If it was skin colored, you'd look naked, wouldn't it? Right. You look, you can't do anything but that. That's, that's y'all millennials. Y'all like that today. I'm 17. Like, no, about Proverbs 17. Watch this. I said earlier, back in the day, you might confirm this brother. Didn't sisters used to dress like that when they were working on the street? Again, I love my sister. I'm not saying that's what she is. But that's the clothing, the uniform of a hoe. Late at night, now she's like, hey, you working tonight, girl? Hold on, ask you, read that. I'm gonna ask you an honest question. Tell me an honest truth. Look at me now. You look at that sister and feel a sexual attraction to her. You see her in those clothes. You better answer yeah, that no way. Right, huh? But I got a beautiful fiance I'm in love well, with. Yes. I'll say yes. You, said you didn't know that. Every man is walking by you looking at you like that. Right. Like you're a piece of meat, like you for sale. Because you put yourself for sale. Read, Read that. I'm going to show you. Seven. The book okay. of 7 9, chapter 7. I mean, and I'm not trying to bash you. I'm trying to show you love, trying to help you. Read this. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10. We're not looking at you like that because we repented of our sins. Right. But read it. And behold. Listen, sis. Listen, listen. Listen, sis. Come on. And behold, there met him a woman. Met him a woman. Read. With the attire. Attire means clothing. Read. Of an harlot. Of a what? Of an harlot. What's a harlot? What's a harlot? That you actually, he said back in the Bible, there was a woman that walked the street, a prostitute, selling them cookies. That's what that is. You understand that? Ain't that, ain't that what a harlot is? Read it again. Hold on. I'm going to get you. Read it again. Verse 10. Come on. And behold, there met him a woman uh -huh. with the attire or costume or uniform. Like a police officer. If I was dressed like a cop right now and you just got robbed, when you come running up to me and be like, help me, I just got robbed. Right? But then I'll stop you and be like, hey, what are you, what are you talking about? I ain't no police officer. I just dress like that. Wouldn't that seem crazy? Wouldn't that seem crazy to say, I'm not a hoe. 
Right. Just dress like a hoe. I'm not calling you a hoe. But I'm saying, you got on the attire. I mean, to be classified as a hoe, you have to act in a manner that you Bro, the Bible says a man may be known by his look. Watch this. Hold that. Give me that. <laughs> Watch this. 1929. 1929. Why are you speaking that? Read that with me. This is the definition of modest. This is the definition of modest because you don't believe black people. Believe the white man's dictionary. Read. Of a woman. Uh huh. Dressing or behaving so as to avoid impropriety or indecency, especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. Modesty is to carry yourself. It ain't just say dressed in. It's to carry yourself so you don't attract sexual attention. Right. The brother just admitted, he confessed. Looking at that sister. Leads into a sexual attraction, even though he got a fiance. It's, it's your fault, it's her fault too. Right. She's dressed like a prostitute. She's dressed like a whore according to the Bible. I'm not saying she's promiscuous. I don't know that. She's a young girl. But when you carry yourself and you dress in such a manner, what do you expect of the people? No one's gonna respect you. Read that. Of, yeah, yeah. of clothing. It's of clothing. Of clothing. Listen to this. Of, hold on, hold on. Listen to this. Not revealing. Not what? Revealing. What she's wearing is what? Revealing. What's this right there wearing? It's partially revealing. You got your cleavage out. Are you a mom? You a mom? You are, I just asked about you. Come here, come here, come here. That's good. I'm glad you heard it. Of clothing. What's your name? My name's Ray Ewell. Keita. Keita, it's nice to meet you. You too. We're not of clothing. Uh -huh. Not revealing uh -huh. or emphasizing the figure. So not revealing or emphasizing the figure. Her figure is being revealed and emphasized in that Do you agree? Your I figure. I just to show her they're not attacking you. Huh? I just was assuring her that they're not attacking her. No, 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 no. That's just assuring her. That's all. Let's get to 1917. What was she got? I'm going to say, you're not attacking. Let's get to 1917. I'm telling you. It's not attacking. What's wrong with our people today? They are sensitive and destroyed for the lack of knowledge. They can't handle no love. They won't hate. You want me to come out here and hate your daughter and be like, girl, you look good like that. That's a lie. If you were my daughter, I'd be on your behind. That's right. Hell. I got a daughter. I'd be mad as hell. I gotta shake your hand on that. I, I have a, uh, my fiance have a daughter now. Uh, yeah. And she about to be my daughter. She really called me dead. I would not let her go out the house. You would not let her go out the house like that. No, no, no. I want you to listen to this. Brother, come here too. You gotta hear this thing. Come here. Give me five minutes. Read that real quick. Give me five minutes. It's worth it. Read. You are the Israelites yeah. according to the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. Right. 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 Knowing that, we cannot behave ourselves like the so-called white woman, the so-called Chinese. We can't carry ourselves like that if we're God's people. Right. That's the difference we got to set. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Listen to what God said. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Y'all heard that. We ain't supposed to hate our brothers or our sisters in our heart. Read. Thou shalt in any wise instead rebuke. Of him, instead of hating them, do what? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke. What a rebuke mean? What's rebuke mean, Keith? What? Where's Ty at? Keith. Keith. I'm going to call you Keith. What does it mean to rebuke? Nope. Not correction. Correction. Correct. It means to correct sharply. Like you walking in the street, I got to yank your arm. She walking off. I want you to stay. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Come on. And suffer not. Sin upon him. She's in the midst of sin because she is dressed immodestly. Right. I'm not going to allow her to sin. Not while you're near me. I'm not going to allow any of you to sin. All sin, we're going to correct out here. Go to you got 1929. Because she said, you know, that don't mean that's how she is because she dressed that way. Watch what God says in the Bible. Bring it out. 1929. Come on. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Read. A man. A man or a woman. Read. May be known by his look. By their what? By his look. So yes, you can't judge a book by its cover. I can look at you and know you. That's what God says. Read. Right. And one that hath understanding uh -huh. by his countenance. And you know if a person has wisdom by the way they their face, the way they carry themselves. That's your countenance. You see us, we're not playing about this Bible, right? You see, I'm serious. I ain't no goofball. I'm serious. I don't want your daughter to die for what she's doing. I don't want you to die for what you're doing. Read on. When thou meetest him, come on. A man's attire. What? A man or woman's what? Attire. Their clothes. Read. And excessive laughter. You walking up giggling. Ha ha ha. Read. And gait. And the way you walk. Read. Sheweth what he is. What does it do? Sheweth what he is. The way you walk, the way you dress, the way you carry yourself, show who you are. Right. It's a sign. 
Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.